morning guys got to love a white world <laughs> good morning guys i was hoping to show you how snowy it is out there but there is so much snow that it's bright white and therefore you can't see anything out the window behind me look at that lots of snow anyway wow now my face is really lit up I'm not sure how i feel about this Hello, if you're new here, my name's Leanne. <laughs> I'm always like this, so if you don't like it, you may as well go now. <laughs> um, today is Sunday, it's the 24th of January, 2021, and it's very snowy outside, of course. Um, I'm about to make some breakfast, so uh, let's do that. Also, you can hear Delta in the background. She's in her morning exuberance. Good morning, Delta. Hello. Yes. Right then, so she'll probably chirp now I'm talking, but there we go. So for today, I'm going to do one of my favourite breakfasts. It's a bit of a treat breakfast, but you know, it's Sunday, so what are you going to do? I'm going to toast up some oats. I've got 40, I'm going to use 40 grams of oats. Um, just toast them in a dry non-stick pan. And then I'm going to mix a tablespoon each of uh, this pip and nut blueberry muffin almond butter. I think this is like my last little bit of this almond butter. <laughs> Sad times, because it's one of their limited edition ones. Um, yeah, so equal parts of that and maple syrup, so a tablespoon of each. In total, that between the two is gonna be six sins. This is why it's a bit of a treat breakfast. The oats, 40 grams, healthy extra B. Obviously, I've got a banana and apple I'm gonna chop up, and I'll use underneath a uh, half of this pot of Greek yogurt, um, Alpro Greek style plain. It's a 400 gram pot, 200 grams is, a, um, is the portion that I like to have and uh, it's half a sin per 100 grams, which makes it one sin. Therefore, this is a seven sin breakfast, but honestly, totally worth it. Well, don't I feel shortchanged? <laughs> um, yeah, that was the last of my oats. I do have another bag, but the trouble is if I open a new bag, there's no way I'm gonna get just two grams. So I think we'll cut our losses and <laughs> have 38 grams instead of 40 of oats. I can see the oat bits flying in front of this camera. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to get these toasting while I make up my almond butter and maple syrup mix and chop my fruit. Yes, I have oats everywhere, but you know, it's a hazard of cooking in my kitchen. So I've actually turned the heat off at this point. So once the oats start to go, they really start to go. So at that point, I just turn the heat off straight away. I've got my uh, yogurt here and fruit all chopped up ready. And here's my... Um, uh, almond butter maple syrup mix and I'm going to add some of that into the oats mix it around to make like a soft toasted granola type thing and uh, the rest will just be used as a kind of sauce all right here's the finished product okay it probably could look more appetizing but honestly with the crispy oats and then like it's particularly good with this blueberry almond butter, I must say, but it's really nice with normal almond butter as well. Or peanut butter, just do whatever you like. Um, I've been toasting oats for years, but I got the idea for the um, almond butter maple mix mixed in with them from Jess Beautician, who's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, she does such beautiful videos. So yes, if you wanna see more of her stuff, go check out her channel. Um, but yeah, she's not slimming well, but she is vegan. Um, anyway. So this is a seven sin breakfast bowl, but oh my God, it's such a treat. Proper Sunday morning treat. I'm gonna make a snowman. Look at this, it's all pristine, just waiting. <laughs> I tried my hardest. <laughs> and uh, meet Mr. Lumpy. good times. Right then guys, I'm ready for a cozy lunch. Uh, yes, my hair is tied back because I got really hot just now. Um, oh, drama. Okay, so um, I'm making a soup using the pressure cooker because, you know, why not? Um, and it means I can just walk away and forget about it. So I've got some onion and celery just sauteing in a little bit of water just to get them started. Might actually do them for another three minutes just to really get them going. Um, oh actually, no, it probably doesn't need it. Um, I'm gonna add in some red pepper, some red lentils. So it was actually three really small red peppers chopped up that I threw in there. And it's actually two cups of red lentils. 
I'm not, this isn't a recipe, I'm just making this up as I go along. So <laughs> if you follow it and it doesn't work, do not blame me. Okay, this is leftover from the other day. This is half of a roasted butternut squash with a roasted bulb of garlic. I'm just gonna mash this up with a fork because it's very soft and add it in. Um, and I think that'll be a really nice flavor. That's it mashed up. So as you can see, it's a nice thing because basically I'm just trying to avoid blending the soup just because I think it'll be a little bit more filling, but this will be a really nice thing to sort of just add a bit of flavor and kind of dissolve in the in the background and help thicken it a little bit maybe. I'm going to add in four cups of stock and I'm only basing that on the fact that I did two cups of lentils, so I'm just doing twice the amount and I'm hoping for the best. For stock, I'm gonna use two OXO cubes. Okay, um, I did actually forget to mention that when I sauteed the onion and celery, I did add a pinch of salt there because it just helps it start to break down a little bit. Um, anyway, for seasoning, I'm gonna use my sage, onion and garlic seasoning by Wicked Kitchen because A, it's one of my favorite seasonings and it goes really nicely with butternut and it's just delicious. So I'll chuck a load of that in. Um, I'm also gonna add in some chili flakes. Okay, um, do not know. I'm going with chili flakes just because it'll add a nice little bit of sugar that was too much <laughs> oh well um it'll add a nice little kick and uh yeah hopefully it'll be tasty um i'll add some black pepper i might put a tiny bit of turmeric in because that's a good anti-inflammatory when you combine it with black pepper so and hopefully you shouldn't be able to taste it in this because i don't really want it to taste like it okay just a tiny bit of turmeric like that much it's like half a teaspoon if that Maybe a tiny bit more. I just don't want it to taste turmeric -y. Okay, and then I'll add some black pepper. Great, so I've added a load of black pepper, so we'll just give it all a big mix together. And um, my problem with the stock pot is that I do keep putting in too much, uh, sorry, stock pot, the instant pot. No, what's it called? Uh, pressure cooker. <laughs> I do keep putting in too much water, so although like I'm looking at this and thinking it might need a bit more for the lentils. I'm also thinking, no, just hold off because you can always water it down afterwards. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, just get this mixed together and then um, pop it on. Okay, I just popped it on for 12 minutes. Um, obviously that's once it comes up to pressure. So we'll see how it does. Right, I'm feeling pretty happy with this. Um, it's finished and I just, um, I let it sit for a few minutes and release pressure manually and then I've just opened it and oh my god it smells amazing. So this is what it looks like before stirring or anything. So let's see what the texture is like. Oh wow, okay it's really thick. Okay, so I can add some more water to make it into more of a soup. Fantastic. Okay, much better. So I've added about half a litre of water, so 500 mils, um, and I reckon that's perfect. Excellent. I've decided when I do soup from now on, I'm going to use like a normal like cereal bowl for it because I can always come back and have more. Um, yeah, there's no need to have it in my giant bowls. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this has made loads, which I'm really pleased about because I wanted it for lunch tomorrow as well. I'm just throwing together a very simple dinner. Um, I'm having a veggie pasta with some heck uh, vegan breakfast sausages in it, which is these ones. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the camera would pick that up. Um, they're from the freeze. Oh my god, <laughs> they're from the freezer. And they've been in the oven for a minute so the box is now um it obviously had a little bit of water in there from like melted ice and when i picked it up just then it just well <laughs> um veggies i'm gonna have with it is courgette mushrooms and spinach this is the um mushrooms and courgette and spinach mix i just um dry sauteed the mushrooms and courgettes and um, until they were done in my super non-stick pan. And then um, I've added obviously a lot of spinach. This is like half a bag of spinach. Um, this is the rest of the bag. So 
you know. And um, I've cooked up my sausage jars. Um, I'm using, oh, I, as I said, the heck breakfast sausages. And I've got some pasta boiling as well. Okay, here is the finished product. So there's a whole courgette, there's about nine mushrooms. Um, I've used four of those um, vegan breakfast sausages. These ones are really tasty. They've got mushroom, carrot, and tomato with parsley and sage. Um, I also really like their super green sausages. They're very nice as well. Um, very fresh and delicious and garlicky, which is good. And they've got quinoa in them, which is a bit different. Anyway, um, here I'm just adding my 80 grams of cocoa for both my healthy extra A's for today. I'm very aware I'm eating a lot of this stuff at the moment, but on the other hand, it's totally on plan, so at least I know I'm getting enough calcium. Anyway, and there we go, that's dinner. Yum, yum, yum. Eight sins. Um, oh, and I had a coffee earlier. Which was another one sin. So that put me on nine and then add these eight, I'm on 17, so I've got eight remaining. Hey guys, it's about half past nine right now. Dinner was lush. Um, I cooked the rest of the sausages that I had in that pack. So I have two left over still for tomorrow or whenever, um, or as a snack or anything like that. So um, that's good. And uh, I've got that soup made for tomorrow lunch. So that's really good too. Um, that's pretty much what I've got to say really. I'm feeling really down in the dumps again, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I just, I just feel really fed up, like really fed up. Um, anyway, I'm having a cup of pucker after dinner tea and I will be having a cup of my Galaxy um, instant hot chocolate. It's my last portion of it in the pot. So I'm really hoping that I'm gonna be able to get out tomorrow because like after work, because I really wanted to go to eight trays um, and do a little top up shop there. For the bits that I can't get around here um but my road um doesn't get gritted so it's still completely covered in snow um and it's meant to be like minus three tonight so it's probably gonna ice it over and mean that I can't take the car out so we'll just assess it tomorrow but um yeah I may not be able to take the car out tomorrow which would be annoying anywho um yeah so I'm gonna have my Galaxy Vegan Hot Chocolate. Sorry, I'm, as you can tell, I've, I'm done. <laughs> um, that's five cents for the 25 grams. Um, and then, um, yeah, why not? So I've still got three cents left. I'm gonna put six of those little mini marshmallows in there. So that's another two and a half cents. So that'll put me on 24 and a half today, which is fine by me. Um, and then I'll probably have a cup of my puck at night time tea later. But that's it so thank you for watching um and i hope you liked mr lumpy my snowman <laughs> he has now got like one eye and just two of his like mouth stones because everything else has fallen out poor mr lumpy but it was fun <laughs> i got to be a child again for a minute um yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow okay thanks for watching night night